On March 22, 2002, Friendster, a new website aimed at networking people across the internet, launched its public site. This was the first successful social networking site, and in three months, Friendster's membership grew to 3 million accounts. At the time, AOL, the largest email provider, had a membership of over 34 million accounts. However, with many technical flaws, large downtimes, and an ever-increasing ad space, Friendster was quickly surpassed by a new site called MySpace in 2003. MySpace was aimed at giving users a fully customizable space, allowing the users to make the site more personable and unique. From here, the world of social media exploded. Users flocked to MySpace and how we communicated changed completely. Time passed and MySpace began to show its flaws as users demanded perfection. In February 2004, that perfection that users wished for was created. Mark Zuckerberg, along with some of his roommates, released a website called Facebook. Initially limited to users with .edu emails, the site quickly grew as college students caught word of this new social connection. Eventually seeing the potential, Zuckerberg unlocked the site to anyone over the age of 13. This was a major turning point for not only social media, but how we interact with one another. As Facebook's membership grew by the millions, other sites such as Twitter, Instagram, and other task-specific websites began to pop up, allowing users to interact in new ways. Today, Facebook remains the central figure in social networking, with new tools added frequently. Features such as groups have allowed organizations to communicate and collaborate together like never before. Students use these groups to not only keep track of clubs and activities, but to communicate with other students in their classes. So how often or how many times a day do you check social media sites like uh, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram? Uh, probably, probably like once every three hours on average day, either between Twitter and Instagram. I don't check Facebook as much, but... Well, uh, I've got a Twitter and Instagram. And Facebook. Facebook, I've completely never checked ever. Uh, I used to check Twitter and Instagram probably 10 times a day, but now since the college have gotten very busy, so I probably check it maybe once a day. Okay. Well, I don't have a Twitter or an Instagram. Okay. I do have a Facebook. Um, probably check it maybe once a day, maybe more if it's like a few people's birthday, but other than that, probably just once a day. So, do you believe social networking is beneficial? or detrimental to you personally or you know, between like the social aspect to an academic aspect? To um, I think it can be a huge distraction and it's very easy to become a huge distraction. But I f uh, feel like it also serves a purpose uh, to keep people connected. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's, it's very easy to go beyond that connection and use it as a huge distraction. Okay. I think social media in general, when you're in a, in a, when within the setting itself, mm -hmm. like, when you're with people, it hurts it because you're always looking at uh, Instagram, Twitter, that sort of thing. But then it helps you like, make plans with people that you aren't with. Okay. But you're, the personal relationships that you're with kind of hurts them. So if, you, if you know how to ignore it, it doesn't. It's not detrimental. I mean, it's just kind of for fun. But if you let it like take over your life or let it distract you, then it can be bad. Gotcha. So I guess uh, off of that, through an academic tense or lens. Is social networking subversive to your studies? Uh, do you find yourself too distracted, or can you? Um, I personally them? am not distracted, but I can see how it would be distracted for someone. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, like I said, it's important to you know, the balance. Um, social interaction-wise, so, <clears throat> social networking helps. Doesn't help. I can use it as a time and place for like time and place. Like, yeah, I think if you're alone, like in your house, it's perfectly fine. But not, but then like I saw a bunch of girls at a Japanese takeout one time. They're okay. just on their phones, face down the whole time, missing the entire entertainment of the guy cooking himself. I'm sure it just kind of hinders the experience of like hanging out with people in person. Gotcha. Um, I think it helps actually. Okay. Um, how, although, you, like, how do you pronounce that? Uh, although people, you you know, you see people sometimes all on their phones in the same room, yeah. not talking to each other. I think the fact that you can keep in touch with someone who's across the country and stay very familiar with them makes it so that when you're in person you have so much more to talk about, you know, you, you know each other so much better than you would have. So it's like you people. never lost that. Exactly, exactly. Everyone's connected, although sometimes maybe too much, too connected, it's, it's, I think it's more helpful than hurtful.
Uh, and when, okay, when you're on or using social media, uh, what do you strive for? Like entertainment, uh, keeping in touch with people, news? Um, not as much news, more entertainment. Mm -hmm. It's like kind of something I do when I'm bored. When you post something on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram, like, if it gets likes or favorites and retweets or whatnot, like, how, would you, how do you feel about that? I'm, ha I'm happy, of course. Okay. People like it. It's good. <laughs> I'm doing a good job. And um, just the opposite, vice versa. If you don't get tweets or retweets or likes. If I, get a, if I tweet something and nobody likes it or favorite, I usually delete it. Okay. I'll be honest. Okay. So you say, uh, does that help you stay connected with people or anything like that? Do you, I guess, do you use Facebook to stay connected with people or do you use like old friends? Do you tweet at them every once in a while? Yeah, I definitely, um, sometimes I'll see a tweet that my friend from high school posted and I will kind of text them about it and it kind of keeps me connected that way. I know my parents always kind of like reference how they were meeting somebody on Facebook and that sort of thing and they kind of always say they stay connected to So in conclusion, students love social networking. It may not always have positive effects, but overall it allows them to connect in a way that just wouldn't be possible in college otherwise.